think she grows more in this third season than she has in the past two. Her growth wasn't entirely linear and was sometimes a little slower than, than some may hope, including those in her life. But I think she's being forced to confront the idea that she can't be at the center of everyone's universe all the time, and that everybody has their own lives and their own struggles and their own passions and their own dreams, and they have to be allowed to pursue them whether or not she's involved. I think there's something about the late 50s, early 60s style-wise and the simplicity of it. And you know what I loved about it? I mean, I was born in 1960, so I don't necessarily remember this, but um, you know, everybody, all the men wore a hat, or the women wore a hat and gloves. And, you know, when you left the house, you dressed. Nobody went out for coffee in their pajamas like I do. It's brilliantly written, and there's no way to mess it up, really. You know, we show up on time and try not to be the one that screws up the eight-page wonder. You know? It's a great deal of fun and, a, and a, just a ridiculous lottery-winning joy to be a part of this show. This is just the type of show where you can sit back, relax, and just forget about all your problems, or the world's problems. You're just kind of immersed in it, and, and uh, it's so visually stunning, and the, the, the acting is amazing. Um, you know, it's just, if I wasn't on it, I'd be a fan myself. Although I'd, I'd be insanely jealous of whoever got Joel. I don't know what the magic, uh, you know, magic powder is that these guys have put together. People just, I think, uh, they like hearkening back to this time period. It's a bit of a respite and an escape from our, our current issues. And um, I know I, what I love, one of the things I love about the show is that we're in a period like prior to cell phones and computers and a personal computer. So I just find that really refreshing. She's kind of like a duck paddling like crazy and trying to maintain a smooth composure on the surface, but I think she's terrified. She's, she's terrified that she's going to fail, but she's so hungry. Um, and within that, you know, their relationship is challenged this year. There's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs. And uh, we're not sure if, if Susie's going to fail and if Midge is going to fail. It's gotten even bigger. We, we created Vegas and Queens. We went to Miami. We built a plane in Steiner Studios. It's, it's been pretty bananas. We're just trying to keep up.